All right, so Gava Caliente, another one of those uh, kind of signs where there's not a lot of parts, but it's just got to kind of go together in a weird way. So you just got to kind of watch it. Watch it. Um, let's see, we'll go over the parts. You've got uh, a face, lots of studs. Shoot that up. You got a backer piece that is separate from the frame. This is uh, removable, so don't don't attach the frame to it. Um, go ahead and weld up your frame, and then we'll put the face on. That's it for that. You'll have these eighth-inch mounting bracket pieces. We'll go over that. Um, we're going to try the new Keystone Mini Vault, the little guy, because um, there's going to be room for it to be kind of stuck up behind it on the rack there. So we're going to give this guy a try if it works out. I'm also throwing the switch plates that we might need for the ones that have the small holes for the monument signs. So I did find one of them. Um, so we've got two of them, but if there's one missing, so I just made it some extra ones there. So keep that in mind, but that's for the monument sign. Um, there's the backer. This piece is going to be not only diffuser on the back to keep the um, uh, push throughs, but it's also going to have uh, vinyl on the face. Let's see. So yeah, here's your um, half inch push throughs. That's a, that's all that's pushed through. The rest of it's just routed out. And then this is for vinyl. They're going to put this on the face of that polycarb backer. They're going to do the rust color, and then they're going to um, line it up where the little skulls will be there, and then they'll line it up where all these different colors will be here. So the polycarb backer will also serve as the vinyl backer. So it's, it's a double purpose this time. So like I said, pretty straightforward here. You're just going to take your corner jigs, weld it up, weld this frame up. You're done. The only thing you're going to permanently put on is the lords, lords the face after you shoot studs. So that's pretty much done. The face is meant to come off. The backer itself will be the permanent mounted part to the to the actual structure. Um, so you got this guy here. The decision was to make this even with the bottom bar. It no longer hangs down three inches. Um, so to just to get more room, so this is kind of different. But there's this steel structure uh, that's already there, this big oval structure. So our sign is going to actually mount to that, and they're going to self-tap it on their uh, install. So what you're going to do is bend this piece up. It's It's got a notch in it, so that way it could clear any kind of structural mounts that are there. And what you're going to do is just slide this through the backer like that. You're just going to slide it through, and you're just going to lords it on. And the backer will sit right on that eighth, and that's how it'll get its support. Now I have a spool here, question mark. I don't know if you need to. I mean, we probably don't want to. If this is Lord's Dawn strong enough, and that's fine, the weight of this thing's going to sit just on that. So if you think that's good enough, then otherwise you might maybe you know put some tacks here just to give this strength, but it's going to kind of warp it. So maybe just try Lord's it on real good and see how we are. And then what you're going to do is take these little bracket pieces here. These are just going to be little angles. And you're just going to um, lords those directly to the back here. So the bigger one is going to fit to the back, directly to the backer there. And what is that? what that is, is these are just going to be little angle clips that will allow install to first, you know, they can put this clip onto the steel. They'll put this one here. And then... Um, once that's on there, then they can go ahead and, and just put a shoot of screw for the bottom. So it's like a bottom support. So the top angle pieces will sit directly on the top bar. And then those will just get um, frapped, frapped right on the top there. And then this is, acts like a little kickstand for for it to, to mount there. So you have that little side hole. So those get directly, um, lords directly to the backer there. The two the two ones with the uh, with the screw hole in it or with the, the roll holder. And then this part here with the bigger um, deal here, you might even just assemble this for them and just have it sitting there. But they can choose whether to shoot this clip onto that bar or not up here. So that's kind of up, up to them. But the majority of the weight will just hang off of this piece here. So this represents the steel structure there and there. Um, yeah, so once you get all that handled, I mean, that's it, the backer, and then the backer just screws directly to the to using the holes in the back of the frame, so it'll be permanently um, removable. 
And then we're going to go ahead and go with the mini vault. Like I said, we're going to give this a try. This is a keystone. You're just going to put a keystone 24 volt. So that way you can keep using the GE 7100s. Um, and then they're just going to take that little guy and they're just going to drop it back here um, inside the cage. So they'll just do a little power out and just run it over here and they'll just let that sit back there. So there's supposedly room back, back up in here. Uh, yeah, so the power supply will just kind of sit back here. So um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see, uh, if we like that little guy, we'll keep using it. Um, and then, like I say, the vinyl layouts will be, they'll just put this to the face and then stack that on that and then stack that on that. And then when you go to put the backer in, theoretically, all those different colors should line up with all the different things that they need to, to you know, to close up with the color. So, um and then the back, the back of the, of the back of the uh, polycarb backer gets diffuser like it normally does. So, but that should take care of uh, all the colors and everything. So again, not a lot of moving parts. Just make sure it all gets together, you know, nice. And so, all right, that should be it. If you have any questions, hit me up.